Hello. I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to find, download, install, and activate mods for Simple Planes. You may be wondering how that's possible. It's actually pretty easy. It's one of the more easy games to modify. But the first thing you'll need to do is if you've already have Simple Planes downloaded, that's the first thing. You need Simple Planes in the first place. And then you'll notice in game, you'll see that if you open up Simple Planes, it actually has a little button here for mods already. So it's it's built into the code to support mods, making it quite easy. Now I already have some downloaded, but Simple Planes will come with these two mods already installed. These are kind of default mods, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but they're pretty useful. But anyways, the first thing you will do is you'll need to go to simpleplanes.com. And you can do that in-game by clicking this button here that says Download Planes, and that'll take you to the website. And you, it'll open up this little window through Steam, which is, well, it, for me it's opening it through Steam because I have Simple Planes from Steam. And then this is the website. You can uh, log in and make an account, which is, I believe, required to access mods. But anyways, or you can do it. Uh, you can do it just by going online and typing in simpleplanes.com, and then you'll be brought to this window, which looked very similar because it's the same website. You can log in. I've already made an account. I've been on simpleplanes.com, as you know, for uh, a little over two years, I believe. Two point four years. But anyways. So then if, if you say you want to download a mod, once you've made your account, or if you already have an account, you just go to this stuff, and under stuff you'll find mods. You can click on that. And then here there'll be a general list of a lot of mods, starting with usually the most recent ones uploaded, like this one was uploaded yesterday, 27 days ago. Their default is the newest, so if you want ones that are higher rated, the most popular ones and you can click that you can select for what time period and like for instance simple planes multiplayer is extremely popular mod and then you can if you're looking for a specific kind of mod you can go to the that kind like parts if you're looking for some specific parts like tracks or wing designs fuselage designs if you want maps like a map background something for you to that's different from the default train that you can drive around on and explore, then you, you can go here and select that. Or you can go to Tools, which these two are the ones that were added to the game in vanilla. And then you have some other options. So you can kind of pick the category of mod you want. Backgrounds, I believe, are backgrounds for the, the designer screen. But anyways... Yes, designer backgrounds. So you can search through them, find what you want, and then once you've found something you want, say you want to download this mod for a possibly more realistic jet engine. You can click on that, and then depending on what your what device you're using, uh, I'm not sure what this is for. I always use this one. As you can see, I'm using a Mac computer, but you can click on that and then it'll take you to this screen. You hit download. And it depends where they uploaded the file to. This person, it looks, put it on Google Drive. So then you just download that. And it's worth noting, it's probably a good idea to check the mod's background, who, who created the mod, to make sure you, that you're not going to download some viruses because that could be bad and you know you never know you never know what stuff that's not created by developers usually you're going to be fine it's the odds of downloading something with uh that's being that'll hack your computer or put viruses on it is very low but it's always a possibility and something to be thinking about so it'll automatically start downloading and you can see how large it is how large the files are it's also worth mentioning that if you if you use a Mac or an Apple device, 
uh, mobile device or whatever, if you buy the if you buy Simple Plans from the App Store, it will not allow you to d to install mods. So yeah, you kind of have to get it not from the App Store because for some reason, App Store applications that are bought from the App Store, you're not allowed to access the files, which is a key component in installing these mods. So I have it off of Steam. So you'll need to get it off of some platform that allows you to access the files if you're using a Mac device. If you're using Windows 10 or or uh, some other computer or mobile device, then you'll be fine. You just use whatever they provide and it should work. Once it's finished downloading, you don't need the internet anymore. Instead, you can go to your downloads folder and find the, the file and it always will say the, the whatever it's called and then the, it'll say .spmod and that's how you know that's the right file. It'll always say that at the end. So then you can uh, get that accessible whatever way and then once again this is a tutorial for Mac so I don't know how you do it on uh, Windows 10 or some other computer but this is how you do it on Mac. So you go you find your simple planes folder which the easiest and fastest way to do that is hit on go uh, click option, hit library, go to application support, then just type in simple planes. Then it's also important that you switch it from this Mac to application support. So it'll actually be looking into your uh, application files, not just on your folders that you have saved to your computer. So then I believe it's the one that says the folder is titled unity. Genru, which is a company, company dot simple planes. You can click on that folder, and then you'll have access to all your stuff. By the way, it's also useful from this folder here. App, aircraft designs; these are all your aircraft designs that you've saved, if you have saved any. And so you can actually use these. You can highlight them all or whatever you want to do, and transfer them to other. If you ever want to make a backup of all these or something, you can do that just by uh, doing it from this folder here. But right now, to install this mod, we're going to go to the mods folder. And you can see I already have some stuff in here. It will come with this mods folder, so you don't have to create a folder for it or anything. So you just click on that, open up here, and then you grab your folder, your file that you downloaded. And you just drag and drop it in here, and it'll come up. And that's pretty much it. It's in the right spot now. So now all you have to do is open up Simple Planes. And then you can go to mods and you can see it'll come up as here and then you just hit enable and it'll give you this little warning so if you're willing to do this then you just hit OK and then you can go whatever kind of mod it is this is a part mod so it'll come up in your parts menu once you if you go into the designer I believe it's a part. Yes, here we go. So it'll give you the mod here. So for this, it happened to be Jet Engines. So that's pretty cool looking. So anyways, that's how you uh, download and install mods for Simple Planes on a Mac. And I imagine it'd be a similar process on other devices. I don't own one, so I can't really do a tutorial on that. So thank you for watching. I sure hope this was a helpful video that maybe you learned something if you didn't know how to do this already. And thank you for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed this video.